about the opponent's you projectiles. Will never amount Using this move anything. increases the blood gain. We shall see. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? This is Zen from Zen Multiverse, and I hope you're having a great day. So we have a kind of like a basic introduction to the fighting style of Nagororoki, and it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, I think my previous video was on who is Nagororoki, and let's just see how the gameplay is, and I'll just give my natural reaction and just some of my some of my um my reviews and also input on it. So let's get started. Arc system. Nagoriyuki. Nagoriyuki is a vampire samurai who wields powerful attacks using his sword. Vary the pace of your pressure on the opponent at your will before finishing them off with his devastating special moves. Blood Rage. When the blood gauge fills up, Nagoriyuki enters the blood rage state. Okay, so first of all, that little dash thing that he has like looks uber fast. Like he's already like a gigantic, um, big character. So that added mobility is very helpful for him. In Blood Rage, Nagariyuki's slash and heavy slash attacks gain improved range and damage, and he gains access to the move Zansetsu. However, his health drains over time while in Blood Rage, and he cannot use his other special moves. Blood Rage state ends either when Nagariyuki lands Zansetsu or after a set amount of time. Hmm. Zara Miyuki. All right, so that's pretty interesting because it's uh, he has double-edged sword based moves, right? As a vampire, he has he can utilize the sword in a way where it uh, his health goes down, but it's um, the I guess the trade is just extra damage, right? In that sense, which is pretty cool, but um, damn dangerous at the same time. So I could see a lot of these movements being used in uh, in a combo, right? To really finish someone off fast. Nagariyuki releases his fighting spirit, forming a projectile. This move can cancel into certain special moves during the animation. Okay, it is pretty Try using this slow. as a poke at mid range. It can also okay. cancel out the opponent's projectiles. Oh. Using this move increases the blood gauge. Oh. Kamariyuki. All right, so that was pretty cool because the um, the spirit went through the projectile, but also still ended off with the slash. At least, um, not depending on which version of it, if it was light or heavy. Kamariyuki performs a lunging attack, knocking the opponent down on hit. This move has fast startup, so it can combo when canceled into from a normal attack. It can cancel into any other special move on either hit or block, so you can follow up with another attack. This makes the move versatile and easy to use. Using this move increases the blood gauge. Okay, Shizuri cool. Yuki. Okay. An anti-air attack that covers a large area. A follow-up attack activates on either hit or block, sending the opponent flying away. This move has fast startup, covering a lot of space, and deals great damage, so try using it in combos after normal or special moves. Oh, it can right. be cancelled into is... other special moves on hit or block. Using this move increases the blood gauge. Blood sucking universe. That was what? <laughs> a man grab that absorbs health from the opponent. Nagariyuki gains health depending on the amount absorbed. Okay. And the blood gauge decreases. Although this throw cannot be teched, it leaves Nagariyuki wide open when whiffed. Okay, so you can whiff, try going for whiff into it. That's pretty good. When the opponent is focused on staying grounded and blocking. Fukyo. That's pretty cool because uh, the first couple moves that we saw that included the the life draining, right? Um, that could be used to counter it a little bit if that's your, I guess if that's the best mode, maybe that's not the best mode to like go about it. Uh, maybe it's just to take the dam the health um, decrease so you can get the damage and not include that. Um, the blood sucking universe as one of the movements that you want to use. Um, I guess if times get rough and you can utilize it as a tech appropriately, right? Nagariyuki moves at great speed in this movement technique. Oof. He Ooh. moves a set distance in an instant and can then continue moving either forward or backward by inputting back or forward while holding down the button. Oh. You can cover for the recovery by continuing the movement or canceling into another special move, making it nice. very versatile. Awesome, awesome. Using this move increases the blood gauge. Okay. Wasurei Yuki. Wasurei Yuki barrages the opponent with slashes in this powerful invincible attack. 
Due to its fast startup and the invincibility at the beginning of the move, it can be used in combos or to interrupt the opponent's offense. This attack has short range. Good, I'm a fan the of the invincibility. The of the attack alters the properties, making it deal massive damage. Ah. Naguri Yuki slices down everything before him in this powerful long range attack. It can only be used while Holy in the Blood Rage state, and Naguri Yuki is in the Blood damage? Rage state after this move is activated. You can aim for the opponent from outside their attack range due to the impressive reach of this attack. His standing far slash and standing heavy slash attacks make good pokes. Yeah. Before the blood gauge builds up, use Zara Meyuki as a poke and approach with Fukyo. Once the blood gauge fills, his heavy slash attacks become strong tools. Blood Stucking Universe also works well, as it depletes the blood gauge when it lands. As Nagoriyuki's health depletes rapidly while in blood rage state, leave the state by using Zansetsu. Thank you for watching. All right, so that was a pretty good breakdown of the character, at least of the special moves. I think my personal, like everyone's going to play with him a little bit differently, but when I do utilize him, I am While holding most down likely going to use a lot of Fukio and then Bloodsucking Universe as like my main tactics for him, right? I I don't really see my... He's a vampire samurai mm. who wields powerful attacks using his sword. Sure, on the opponent, Blood Rage. I don't know if I see myself using Blood Rage too much. Uh, i rather utilize um, Blood Absorption-based techniques than actual uh, Blood Depletion te techniques. But I understand the concept the of using Blood, blood Rage. up, Nagari Yuki enters the Blood Rage state. During it, Blood Rage, Nagari Yuki slash and heavy slash it attacks. Takes and he gains access to the move Zansetsu. However, his health drains over time while in Blood Rage, mm. and he cannot use his other special moves. See, and he can't use his other special moves. So, uh, it's a it's a real big double edged sword. Um, again, I I think my blood my blood my blood. I was about to say my blood style. My style of gameplay when utilizing this character might definitely be um fukio and also um blood sucking universe right did i say that right um what does zen get to again i got that's a super attack. now that this this reminds me of um homaru in um samurai showdown like this slash is ridiculous look at this again it can only be look at that life what is that uh that's a little bit over is that a complete 50 percent it looks like a direct 50 percent of life taken out used while in the blood rage state one more time and Let me see. he leaves blood rage state after this move is activated oh so okay so you have to go into blood rage state to use this super okay of risky see this is pretty risky because if you use blood rage then that depletes your life over time and then to utilize this in conjunction uh with your blood you know with your blood bar is like uh i don't know it's it's super risky but the amount of damage it takes out lets you know that um it might be worth it if you could utilize it in a way that works good in the tool set right um you can aim for the opponent from outside their attack range due to the impressive reach of this attack. Yeah, that, that reach is ridiculous. His standing far slash and standing heavy slash attacks make good pokes. Before He's, you know, even though he has um, Fukio, he is rather, um, he's bulky, right? He's a big character. He's not that fast at all. And, but overall, this game seems to not be at the same speed as the previous Guilty Gears. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm, 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 I'm digging his character. Before the blood gauge Though. fills up, use Zara Meyuki as a poke and approach with Fukyo. Once the blood gauge fills, his heavy slash attacks become strong tools. Blood Stucking Universe also works well, as it depletes the blood gauge when it lands. As Nagari Yuki... Yeah, it's definitely uh, Fukyo and Blood Sucking Universe as my main kind of... Um, are my the arsenal that I'm going to use and Wasarayu in terms of the super, right? Zengetsu, Zenzetsu, definitely a, a wicked super, but to utilize it, I don't know if I'm going to be able to set it up all the time in terms of like uh, mind games, right? Uh, things of that nature. I don't really want to play the offensive, more like a tactical style that brings you in through the process of mind games. But anyway, 
Uh, pretty cool. Excited. Let me know what you think about this character uh, in terms of his fighting style. You, we know that he uses... Um, he has a really long sword, kind of reminiscent of... Kind of like my sword in the background, if you see it. Let me... You know, whatever. I'm trying to... Right here. Um, but it's it's a long sword, and, you know, he, he seems to be following the, the style of uh, the samurai, right? Or the Bushido way. Anyway, this is Zen from Zen Multiverse saying peace, love, and prosperity. If you enjoy my content, drop me a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll catch you all later in the next one. Later, everyone. You will never amount to anything. We shall see, brother.